welcome back to my channel I'm Jo and today we're going to be making an envelope clutch now in my last tutorial I showed you how I was I painted this fabric and I'm going to use this fabric to make the clutch so what we'll need are one exterior fabric a lining fabric a piece of foam I also added heavy interfacing just to the flat area of the bag. This will be the strap, the tabs, our closure, magnetic snap closure, and two swivel hooks for the strap. I use this pattern to make, I'll be using this pattern to make the envelope clutch. I won't be doing much stitching. I'll be using this spray to put the pieces of fabric together. This is spray. This is an adhesive spray called Loctite, and it's light, and it can be used on paper, cardboard, foam, fabric, and foil. So I'm just going to spray a bit of this on my exterior, on the back of my exterior fabric, and I'm gonna stick my exterior fabric to the foam. Then once I put on my snap closure, I will then stick my lining to the foam as well. I'm gonna go and spray this outside, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, so we're gonna work on our lining now. We're gonna install the male part of our magnetic snap to the top or the flap of our envelope, envelope clutch. So these are the two pieces you will need. I will use the washer to mark where the prongs will go. This is a Pilot Friction Pen that is erasable. You can use this to erase the marking, like so. Or you can use heat. Heat works best. Just take your iron and press it over the markings and it will disappear. So I'm going to one end and up, down one end and up the other and push to make the holes where the prongs will go through. Simple. To reinforce, we can add a piece of foam. I'm gonna cut this out and use this under doesn't have to be perfect, I just don't want it to be too big. Take a scissors, cut this off. So we'll take our magnetic snap and put it from the front of our fabric, the right side of our fabric, through the hole. Then I'm going to push down the foam on top of it. There. Then we're gonna put on the washer. You can press the prongs out or in onto itself. I think I'm going to press them out this time. Thank you. 
there you have it so one part of the snap is secure onto our lining we're going to put on the, the female part of the snap to the exterior bottom of our bag as the foam to the back of it so we're going to measure up two and a quarter two and three quarter inches and that's where we're going to place our snap Here we go. So the bottom is in. Make sure that you perforate your line so that you can fold your bag and just to get an idea what it will look like. So this is how it will close up. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and spray some adhesive here and then attach the lining. So I've spread adhesive on the other side of the foam, the foam and I'm going to apply the lining this time to try and get it lined up. We're done. So, as you can see, this side didn't lay down as well as I would have liked, but it, uh, it's not a problem for me. I'm going to use binding, so that will cover. It doesn't have to be perfect. So this is our exterior, and this is our lining. Okay, to bind my raw edges, I'm going to use this nylon webbing. This is one inch wide. All you have to do is fold the edge over about a quarter of an inch and you can sew across here to hold it down then you will place it Let's, we're gonna start from the middle of the bottom you're gonna place it like this create a channel fold it in half to create a channel and then we're going to place it over like this all along our back just gonna use a clip to hold it to show you what I'm doing so you add it like this and you will sew all around the back to cover the raw edges when you're going around these sharp edges you can trim it a bit to make it easier to go around here okay so you'll stitch close to the edge here all around just to make sure that you catch the bottom as well you can do the top shorter and the bottom longer so you see the bottom here is a bit longer than the top so that you make sure that you catch the bottom as you go around so i'm going to finish that up and come back
So I've completed the binding all around as you can see and it looks pretty good to me. Now we're going to add our uh, tabs. We're going to need two D-rings. I'm using three quarter inch uh, D-rings so the width of my fabric is one and a half inch. If you're using a half inch D-ring you will just use one inch. It's four inches long. I'm just going to fold in the raw edges in towards the center and sew along the sides. And then I'll come back and show you. So I've sewn along the two long edges of my tabs. Now I'm going to fold it in half and cut it to make two tabs. And we're going to place the D ring around it. like so and then we're going to sew this in here right where the top the half inch top piece where we left here or you can measure four inches down from the top and then place this right there in between there and then we're going to sew this on in place and repeat for the other side okay so I've sewn on the D-ring tabs on both sides and now we're going to make the strap okay in order to figure out how much material you will need to make your strap you will put on your attach your swivel hook to the D-ring and place it up like this and you're gonna measure the space between the two D-rings because you want your handle to lay flat. Let me show you an example of what I mean. This is another bag that I made and this is how I want the handle to look. So I've decided I'm going to use the same material I used to bind to make the handle and this is how I want it to lay. So you will place your a swivel hook on and you will measure this distance between the two swivel hook and then you will add, I don't know, an inch to it for, because you want to, uh, for the seam allowance because you're going to have to stitch and then you will double the amount because you want it to wrap around on the way this one is. Okay, I think when I measure this, I got about, I'm going to use about 11 inches and I'm going to double that to 22 and then I'm going to just add another inch for safety. So I'm going to cut out a piece of webbing that is 23 inches long to make my strap. So I'm adding my two swivel hooks to my webbing, which is 23 inches long. So you put them on the inside that we're going to pull, put these two together like this. So across about a quarter inch. So I've sewn the seam flat. Now we're going to turn this under like this, and then you're going to pull the swivel hook to opposite sides, or opposite ends, like this. Pull it so that you have a dent in the sides close to the swivel hook. Now if you have a one inch or a three quarter inch uh, swivel hook, you can use that, but mine is half inch and that's why I'm denting the sides to make it fit. This is a one inch wide webbing. Or you can fold the webbing in half so you can to make it half inch. I don't want to do that. I want it to be wide. Okay, so this is what you want. And now you're gonna sew around Close, as close as you can to the um, 
the swivel hook down one side, across, and up the other side. So this is our strap completed. Okay, let's finish up our bag. Now we're going to sew up the sides and finish. So fold up to just under our tabs. Okay. So we're going to take this to our sewing machine and sew down. We're going to stay close to the edge and we're going to sew this down to close on both sides. And attach your handle. would be complete so this is what your clutch envelope clutch would look like you have the option of removing this the handle and holding it how you usually hold your clutch or you have the two tabs where you can attach it as a crossbody so this is just a quick little tutorial I hope you liked it and that you're gonna try to make it let me know in the comments what you think about this bag and if you're going to try to make one for yourself.